Hello, my name is Laura Fortman and I'm the Commissioner of the Maine Department of Labor. This month, October 2020, we're celebrating the 75th observance of National Disability Employment Awareness Month. The history of National Disability Employment Awareness Month dates back to 1945 when Congress enacted a law declaring the first week in October each year National Employ the Physically Handicapped Week. In 1962, the word physically was removed to acknowledge the employment needs and contributions of individuals with all types of disabilities. And then in 1988, Congress expanded the week to a month and changed the name to National Disability Employment Awareness Month. The theme of this year's observance is increasing access and opportunity. The year 2020 also marks the 30th anniversary of the Americans with Disabilities Act, landmark civil rights legislation that works to increase access and opportunity for people with disabilities in our communities, including the workplace. People with disabilities are needed in Maine's workforce. Successful businesses benefit from a diversified workforce and that includes the talents and skills of people with disabilities. From 2014 through 2018, 34% of Mainers aged 18 to 64 with one or more disabilities was employed, compared to 81% of those without disabilities. This statistic shows just how much talent Maine is missing in our workforce. Equal opportunity for employment should be available to everyone. Something that we like to say here at the Department of Labor is that everyone is ready for something. Maine has pursued this in many ways. <clears throat> Maine is the only state in the country that prohibits subminimum wages to workers with disabilities and has an employment first law for all disability populations. On behalf of Governor Janet Mills, I'd like to read the proclamation that she has recently signed commemorating this month. Whereas across Maine, workplaces welcoming of the talents of all people, including people with disabilities, are a critical part of efforts to build an inclusive community and a strong economy. And whereas while progress has been made, the employment rates of persons with disabilities in Maine is below 34% and less than half the employment rate for people without disabilities. And whereas it is critically important that Maine prepares youth with disabilities for an adulthood that includes employment. And whereas Maine is an employment first state, which requires state agencies providing services to people with disabilities to include employment as the first and preferred service or support option offered, and whereas Maine is among only a few states across the country that has demonstrated a strong commitment to fair and equal labor standards by prohibiting the use of subminimum wages for individuals with disabilities, and whereas people with disabilities have been disproportionately affected by COVID-19 pandemic in healthcare job loss, and social isolation, and whereas activities during this month will reinforce the value and talent that people with disabilities add to our workplaces and communities. Now, therefore, I, Janet T. Mills, Governor of the great state of Maine, do hereby proclaim the month of October 2020 as Disability Employment Awareness Month throughout the state of Maine and I urge all citizens to recognize this observance. Thank you, Governor Mills. As part of this observance, I'd also like to add my voice to urge you to participate in the wide range of events and activities occurring this month. In closing, Maine has much to be proud of and much work still to be done to achieve equal access and opportunity in, in employment for people with disabilities. Thank you for observing National Disability Employment Awareness Month with us.